Okay, seemed to work out okay. Hi, from the Tech Rabbit again. Yeah, thought I'd make a rant video. I'm not very good at rant videos, but I thought I'd bring this up anyway, because this is really annoying. Um, I want to talk a little bit about an, an instruction, uh, an instruction set that exists in processor called processors called AVX, and um, the thing is, I'm running a uh, an Intel-based system, K875 processor. And it has no AVX instructions in it. Uh, I know it's a very, it's a relatively old CPU. It's from Q2 2010. That's when it was released. Well, the thing is, it runs at 2.93 gigahertz, and it, I've got it a bit overclocked, so it actually runs a bit hard. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. I put in a GeForce on uh, GTX. 1050 Ti graphics card and I mean this thing can still handle like pretty much most workloads that I need to throw at it you know the usual movies, YouTube doing my channel stuff I don't do any 4k encoding or anything um, can also handle most games that I play um, uh, yeah and like Fallout 4 for example, uh, Doom, Wolfenstein, Overwatch, yeah, you name it. I can I, I, I can play with pretty good results from from a, like a practical standpoint, not from a benchmarking standpoint. And um, one of the annoying factors that a, the there has been a sneaking in of using the AVX instruction with a, in different software packages without actually publicizing it, telling the consumer or the end users that this, this is actually needed. The user needs to find this out the hard way, which means that the system software doesn't work. And the latest, one of the latest software packages that is the, um, which I kind of like to use, is the Google AI framework called TensorFlow. And um, they used to have a version up to lately that ran that was compiled without AVX, and now their their official version, it's compiled with AVX, and they don't intend to revert that. And the ridiculous thing is, there is a person that is takes a side copy of this and then recompiles it without AVX. So it's obviously not a technical limitation. Uh, also, um, another piece of software I stumble into is that um, Logitech, uh, the webcams, uh, in the webcam software they include in which replaces the background. Amazingly enough it uses AVX for that functionality. Um, you know what what makes this a bit of a problem is, in my opinion is that uh, this is like forced obsolescence. I mean this is a kind of a special side instruction set uh, extension um, uh, so uh, it was first introduced in, in, in uh, into Sandy Bridge uh, Q1 2011 and then it was AMD put it into bulldozer, bulldozer at the end of 2011 uh, and if you think those are the introduction date of the processors then it will probably be like one year uh, two years down the track that people have been buying buying those machines so basically you could end up with a situation where you have uh, like maybe like a six year old computer could be potentially scrap because it doesn't support the AVX. Now one little known fact is that this AVX instruction is not included in many um, sparotic CPU models. Um, from both Intel and AMD. Uh, for example, the Pentium and Celeron and most, quite a few of the mobile CPUs don't have the um, AVX instruction included. Um, 
Uh, and the the other issue is that um, some software packages that they they're actually pre-built with, um, with the assumption that they will use AVX. And if AVX doesn't exist, then they will default to a, a bad, you know, to a default solution, which is in most cases um, a not optimized uh, alternative implementation in software. And this causes performance issues. And they don't tell you that, you know, this software, uh, if you don't have AVX, then the software will, will perform badly. They will just let you out. Oh, it'll just perform badly. And then you just have to deal with it. And I think that's just garbage. Um, and, and the other thing is that there isn't just one version of AVX. There's, there's the so-called AVX instructions. And then there's AVX 5.12. And then there's AVX 2. So it's all, it's very difficult to understand when, when they're talking about in, in software, even if they mention AVX then exactly, because they usually they don't in, they don't specify exactly what AVX version level you need to support or is the, um, that they need in the software. They just say AVX instructions and um, makes it even more difficult for a consumer. And if it needs to be pushed up to the AVX2 level, then you can throw away an even more high higher number of computers in the garbage and, and this is very sad because the current hardware I'm running um, you know it's, it, it performs very well and with the graphic it, uh, with the um, 1050 Ti graphics card it meets all, all base requirements but since I do quite a lot yeah, and, and like you've seen like in this channel when you, if you've been following the thermal experiment and, and, and now I've been running other things and we're going to move into like using the TensorFlow package then it, it gets quite annoying to have to um, look for the um, third party compilation of TensorFlow and, and, and remember to install that one instead of the mainstream and then in the example of Google, the Google is iterating the TensorFlow software rather fast so I don't know if this side com compilation of TensorFlow will actually be able to keep up with the with the um, speed that they're going. Um, yeah, I mean, I know this is a useless rant. I mean, nobody will they don't care that much. I just thought I'd put it out there that you know, keep an eye on the AVX instruction requirement and um, don't be too surprised if you run into it. And if you're buying newer computers, uh, you know, make sure that the CPU in the computer you're buying supports AVX too because then you can at least be guaranteed. It's funny, this seems to be, as an instruction, there are other, if you look at the, if you load up um, some software to look at the um, instruction extensions that are supported by the CPU in question, you know, with like, um, uh, what was it called, CPUX uh, software. The C, no, C, sorry, CPU ID software. And it will tell you exactly what extensions the processor contains. The, this is actually one of the trickiest things because I've, I've practically, as a, u, as, as a user, you're using quite normal things here and there. I, I haven't um, ran into too many software packages that have issues with what other level of, you know, of SSE instruction set or stuff you have. But ABX seems to be a really, that, that is a crash point. I was really surprised to find it in this uh, Logitech um, <laughs> cam software background replacement. You need ABX instruction set to be able to run that. And uh, it's, it's, it's um, yeah. yeah. So anyway, my, ah, my, my summary is to put it out there. You know, if you're gonna buy a new computer, um, make sure you don't buy a computer that um, <coughs> that is lacking the AVX instruction because you might <coughs> actually find it if it's in a if the if the AVX instruction is being used in a in a webcam software then I think it's going to start popping up here and there and everywhere and and that means that you're going to run into even if your hardware and otherwise is in perfect working order it's just going to be <coughs> going to be very annoying. Yeah, so I just thought I'd put that out there. Okay, well, thanks for listening to this rant, and um, 
we'll move on with the normal programming after this. Oh, talk to that island.